Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. In a previous post, we learned how to combine multiple files that were all in the same folder using Power Query and then using the result of that create pivot tables that we can use to analyze the data. In this tutorial, we're going to look at combining two different types of files using Power Query and then be able to again analyze that data using a pivot table. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So I have a folder here that has two different files, January 2017 and February 2017. Notice January 2017 is a text file that has a log number, customer, sales, and date where February 2017 is an Excel worksheet that has customer date and sales. And we're going to combine those two using Power Query and then create a pivot table to analyze that data. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Data tab. Now I'm using Excel 2016, which has Power Query built right into the Data tab. 2010 and 2013, you have to add it as an add-in, and it will be a separate tab in Excel. So I'm going to go to New Query and say From File, and I'm going to choose From Workbook. And Excel will bring up my File Manager, and I'm going to go to my desktop here, and in my file here, I'm going to choose February 2017. Excel will open up the navigator. I'm going to choose the sheet one where my data is located and it shows me a preview of that and I'm going to select edit to see if there's anything I need to do to that data in order to make it ready for my pivot table analysis. And I have my customer, my date, my sales. It all looks pretty good. I'm just going to change the name here to February 2017 and I'm going to go up to close and load, choose close and load to, and I'm going to just choose only create connection and load. And now Excel will bring up my workbook queries list here and it'll show February 2017 connection only. And you can see if I hover over that, you get a preview of what that looks like. Now I'm going to choose new query, go to from file, and this time choose from text. Excel again will open up my file manager. I'm going to choose the January 2017 text file I have. Excel will bring that in. Again, go through the connection options here. And again, I'm going to choose to edit that file. And my query editor will open. And I can take a look and see what I need to do with this data. Well, the first thing I want to do is I don't need to have the log column there so I'm going to select remove and then in my February file I had customer date and sale so I need to rearrange these so I'm going to right click on date say move and choose left and now it's in the order I wanted customer date and sales the name is correct in terms of January 2017 so again I'm going to choose close and load to and again, only create connection and say load. And now I have my February and my January queries listed here. I'm going to right click on either one and I'm going to choose append. And Excel will bring up the append dialog box and I have February 2017, which is the one I chose. And I want to append it to January 2017. I'll say OK. Excel again will bring up the query editor and now you can see it's combined the data from February and January. I'm going to change the name so it says something like all sales and now I'll just choose close and load. Excel brings it back in as a table. You can see I have my three queries, the February, the January, and the all sales there. I can go ahead and close that. Now since I've selected this table here I can say insert pivot table. I'm going to choose to put it right here on the existing worksheet. I'll say OK. And now I can put my customers in my rows, sales in my values, maybe throw date under the rows. 
and maybe change the design over to a tabular format. And now I can analyze my data using pivot tables however I need to do so. And that's how you can combine different types of files using Power Query in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.